Good morning and welcome to the second episode of the Philippine Center New York Core Collection of 1974 Artist Talk series. This activity is a corollary event to the Philippine Center New York Core Collection of 1974, a homecoming exhibition in galleries 27 and 28 of the National Museum of Fine Arts. Launched on February 14, 2021, this exhibition features 115 out of 120 artworks which were brought home and exhibited in the Philippines for the first time since they were gathered by national artist Arturo Luz and renowned designer Willie Fernandez and brought to New York for the inauguration of the Philippine Center in 1974. This artist talk series aims to reunite the artists of the collection with their artworks after more than 47 years and to learn about their journey as an artist and their thoughts and inspirations in doing their works. To welcome us all to today's episode of Artist Talk series, here is the National Museum's Deputy Director General for Museums, Dr. Ana Maria Teresa Labrador. Good morning everyone in the Philippines and good evening in the U.S. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the second in the series of our uh, um, Artist Walk and Talk for the Philippine Center New York exhibition here at the National Museum of Fine Arts. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to actually introduce this session uh, featuring our eminent artist Raul Isidro, who is not only well known for his painting but also his uh, prints. And uh, the spectacular collection that we have here on show and I encourage everyone to come and visit because we are now open to the public is a, is a one kind of remarkable session that we've had with Mr. Isidro. It was like a, a wonderful reunion with his uh, what he would refer to as his siblings uh, like his brothers and sisters and it's nice to see the um, him being very happy to uh, to actually appreciate that the artworks are still very much intact and brought a lot of memories uh, to his uh, artistic process and we benefited from it and you see in the the video during his interview and um, his artist walk and talk that he really did uh, give us so much information about how artists actually produce all these wonderful, remarkable artworks. So welcome again and do enjoy this uh, uh, particular segment, um, this episode that we have prepared for you. Uh, magandang gabi po sa uh, US at magandang umaga po dito sa Pilipinas. Welcome. Thank you, Dr. Labrador. Our featured artist for today is renowned abstract artist, Mr. Raul Isidro. Raul Isidro is a fine arts graduate of the University of Santo Tomas. He taught arts education at the Philippine Women's University in Manila from 1968 to 1977. His works in the early 1970s were figurative using acrylic on metal etching. In the mid-1970s, his work turned pure abstract, characterized by bold brush strokes. He won second place at the first Society of Philippine Sculptors competition in 1968 and was a recipient of the 10 Outstanding Young Men Award in 1979. In 2008, he held his 40-year retrospective exhibition at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Raul Isidro for his artist talk. I am uh, Raul Isidro, a painter and art educator. I was born in Zamar, raised in Zamar, and I studied in uh, Manila 
the uh, University of Santo Tomas. That was way back 1960 to 65. I was a working student to promote and help myself go to school. Anyway, I started working as an artist when I was in school at the uh, Fine Art Department of the University of uh, Santo Tomas. But at that time when we started, magsimula, sabi, Fine Arts, gutom yan. Eh, sabi ko, sakit pagingan. <laughs> but anyway, sabi ko, gusto ko maging artist. Sabi ng magulang ko, dapat tapusin mo architecture para makabalik ka sa Samar. Eh, sabi ko, hindi. Gusto ko maging pintor eh. Sabi nila, magugutom ka dyan. Bahala na. Until I finally uh, transferred from architecture to, to fine arts. Una, to be able to join a contest. Para makasali ka sa national competition, kailangan na ka-enroll ka. Una kasi ang competition, Shell ang nagbibigay. Ang Shell taon-taon eh. Nag-start yan, sila Hoya, sila Bueba, sila what, mga ibang mga national artists nagdaan sa Shell. Sa national competition, doon mo establish yung pangalan mo, identity mo. Noon, ang inaabangan namin, ako inaabangan ko yung contest eh. eh kasi sino makakilala sa akin, nagka-provincia ako. Pag sinanalo o sumali ka sa contest, nanalo, may awarding. I-announce pangalan mo sa dyaryo. Importante yung uh, media eh. So, yun. Pag sinasuwerte ka, labas sa TV, gano'n. All of this, yun ang nagpo-contribute sa success ng isang artist. Noong una kasi, nung nag-aaral kami, walang masyadong libro sa art uh, sa library. So, ang reference namin, ang most of the references na ginagamit namin, kalendaryo. And comics. Ang nakaedloan sa akin ng mga kasamahan ko, ng mga dinaanan ko, mga sinundan namin, yung mga masisipag, walang tigil na production, Manuel Rodriguez Sr. Nag-start yan sa imprenta. Arturo Luz. Arturo Luz, walaking naitulong sa akin din. In spite na busy siya sa trabaho niya sa design, design center, nagpo-produce ng prolific uh, artworks. Iyon ang mga kwan. Marami, hoya. In spite na busy as a dean ng school, wow, hindi mo makapigil yan. Sige yung trabaho niya. Well, bago ka magsimula ng abstract, impressionist muna. Gagawa ka ng landscape, still life. Yun ang mga basic. Gagawa ka ng binog, gagawa ka ng cube, gagawa ka ng... Kasi pag pinagsama-sama mo, cylindrical uh, shape, gagawin mo. Without you knowing, yung reference mong mga bilog, mga cubes, mga gawin, yun ang gagawin mo sa tao. Basic, basic yan. Ang gagawin mo, sa freehand drawing, mag-start ka. Mag-start ka mag-freehand drawing, mga prutas. Ang prutas kasi kanya-kanya shape. Doon ka iti-train. Hanggang ma-develop ang sarili mo, na pag nakita mo mansanas, baga na ng loob. 
bilog. So, shade ng ginagawa mo sa tube, yung basic uh, training ng start ng spherical, cylindrical, flat, like, lahat yan. Perspective. Ang akala ng artist na tinuturuan, ah, simple lang yan. Hindi niya alam na lahat yan related sa conservative uh, one, sa realist uh, shape. Kaya, bago kami gumawa ng abstract, yun muna ang uh, gagawin mo. Pag matured ka na, magahanap ka na ng sarili mong style. Like, kung abstract ang gagawin mo, lahat ng pinag-aralan mo, papasok doon. Without your knowing. Yung palang ginagawa mo, yung dinaanan mo. 70s, nasa art school ako. Nagtuturo ako noon sa PWU. Pero sa, sa campus, meron akong studio. I started teaching 1968. Hanggang umalis ako ng 77. Ang purpose kasi ng show sa abroad na yan was to promote Philippine art and culture ng panahon na yun. Kasi hindi alam na ibang bansa kung anong ginagawa natin. So, nag-organize si Arturo, si Mr. Luz, ng para sa pang-exhibit sa abroad. So, I was lucky naman na napili yung trabaho ko kasi doon ako sa kanya nag exhibit dati sa Luz Gallery. Pero malaking bagay yung ginawa na yun. Sa mga exhibition sa iba-ibang embassy, malaki, malaking bagay. Kasi nagkaroon ng exposure ang Pilipino art. Nga lang, kung minsan, hindi po mabalik. In the process, nawawala. Kasi kung minsan, ang isang ambassador na gustong magpakita ng gawa niya sa diplomatic circle, may mapakita na may Pilipino mga artist din pala. Yun na, ang problema, hindi na naisip kung minsan na ang pagbalik sa Pilipinas, gastos. So, naiiwan ng matagal. Hanggat sa makalimutan ako, nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> I forgot all about this. Kaya ako natuwa ako nung sinaba ni Ana sa akin na nakita niya eh. Kasi maraming mga art materials na dinala sa abroad, hindi talaga nakabalik. Noon kasi, pag sinabi si Arturo mag-organize, respetado siya ng art community. Eh, matutuwa ka kasi ilan lang kami pinipili eh. Ang promotion ng Philippine Art, malaking bagay ang ginawa nila. Kasi nung una, ang exhibit sa abroad, kuminsan sa kwan lang eh, sa mga library. Nung nagkaroon ng Philippine Center sa New York, yun ang naging permihan na exhibition na uh, kwan venue ng mga uh, artist. Mga um, galing dito, nakakapag-show. Noon, ang nasa isip namin, makarating lang sa ibang bansa itong trabaho ko, masaya na ako. Kasi hindi lahat ng artist nagkakaroon ng chance na ma-exhibit. Para kang nawalan ng kapatid eh, na nagkita kayo ulit. Kasi nung hiniram ito, nasa exhibition na uh, pang loose gallery ito at the time. Malaking bagay naman ito na nailabas. Kasi kung sa studio lang, hindi mo makikita ng ibang tao. Ang importante sa artwork, yung exposure. <laughs> Alam mo, ang bumalik sa akin, yung dinanan ko hirap nung ginagawa ko itong mga ito. Kasi itong molding paste, nakamold ito sa canvas, direkta. 
ilalatag mo yung mga faith, bibilugin mo. Kaya sabi ng ibang, hirap naman itong ginawa mo. Eh, yun ang alam ko. Until finally, yung huli na, ginawa ko, binilog ko ang kanbas ko. Kasi itong faith na ito, patitigasin mo eh. Pero bago tumigas, kailangan ikorte, mag-shape ka na. Kaya ang ginagawa ko, series of works. Pag kagawa ko na isa, katabi ko muna. Kagawa na naman ako. Ang nasa isip ko, yung outer space, all about the lunar travel ng uh, astronauts. Kasi itong dark side ng Mother Earth, pang gabi eh. Pag pipinta ko kasi, wala akong pinili. Basta marami akong canvas na nakahanda. Minsan, I have about 50 work uh, canvases na nakahanda. Sisimulan ko at tatabi ko. Sisimulan ko at tatabi. Progressive and development. Pagka na kuwan, babalikan ko naman. Ganun. Until yun nga, satisfied ka na kung anong uh, result then nakala akong pipirma. Nisan, tapos na, babalikan mo pagka may nakita ka kung gusto mo. Pero most of the time, hindi ka pipirma hanggat di kompleto. Color, contrast, uh, shading, nandun lahat yan. Ang painting na uh, one hindi ko, hindi, hindi ko pinaplano ko ano. Kung anong materialis na nandun sa ko, yun ang ginagawa ko. Basta, yun nga sinasabi ko mga artist, maghanda ka yung materials because you will never be able to paint kung hindi ka nakahanda. Mabuti at meron ng National Museum na paglalagyan, pero dapat marami pang paglagyan. Sa mga ako ng uh, Filipino art, ng Filipino artist, at the same time, gumawa ng gumawa. Sa mga beginners, ang sinasabi ko kadalasan is to work. Work and experiment. Yung style sinasabi ko sa kala, huwag mo hanapin ang darating yan. Without you knowing, hindi mo alam na yun palang ginagawa mo, yun ang style mo. Kasi sabi nila, paano ba ang style ang gusto ko? Basta magpinta ka. Before you know it, ma-realize mo, ito pala yung style ko. Ganun na yun. Pero sa mga nagsisimula, pagka nakabenta, magtabi na a certain percentage ng pera pambili ng materyales bukod sa kanin. Kasi hindi pwede puro kanin ang bibili mo, wala kang materyales. So, yun ang uh, yun tinuturo ko sa mga karamang kasamahan ko. Magpinta. Itong ginagawa natin, ma-appreciate ito later on. Kasi marami naman ako tinutulungan up to sa mga probinsya Yung mga, art, mga artist sa uh, probinsya, yung mga, mga kulang din ang buhay. I hope na yung art community na develop ng gusto. Bahala na sila. <laughs> Basta bahala na yung painting ko. <laughs> That was the Philippine Center New York Core Collection of 1974 Artist Talk Series with Mr. Raul Isidro. We hope that you were able to learn about his journey as an artist and the stories behind his works. 
Watch out for other episodes of this series with other artists featured in the PCNY Core Collection. Invite your friends and family and book a visit to the National Museum of Fine Arts to view the complete exhibition. Visit www.nationalmuseum.gov.ph for the National Museum's visitor guidelines and online booking. See you soon at your National Museum.